contortionism and taxidermy. They're making a comeback in East London as part of a new interactive exhibition. The aim is to showcase skills from the past and prove they have a place in the future. Wendy Hurrell has been to take a look. Cambridge Heath Road is a part of London where people still make things. There are the metal workers and the wood workers. And just for this morning, the letter carver. Watched by curious passers-by through the window. It's been really interesting for me to hear and pick up on conversations of people saying, I didn't know that's how they did that, and oh, I wonder how long that takes, and I didn't know you could, you know. So uh, for me, it's kind of quite enlivening to hear that feedback, because often people normally see the end result, not the process of it being made as well. Manual Labour, Making and Making Do is a programme of demonstrations which puts unusual or outmoded skills into public view and the focus is on the act of making. Some are lost arts. There would have been a phenomenal number of basket makers because there were, baskets were used for so many things. Farmers would have loads of um, baskets for all their harvesting. Fishermen would have lots of baskets. The gentry would have baskets. They do actually reflect your personality. So, um, so I don't know what my baskets say about me. Whether there's an intimacy with an object or whether there's also something very sensual going on. The movements, these very studied movements that are skilled, that are well practiced. And we forget that about labour, that it is a bodily practice. You know, most of the time we just think about productivity or the end result or making, you know, going home with a paycheck in your pocket. And there's no more challenging a bodily practice than contortion and acrobalance. Here courtesy of Pixie Lenot and Ula Lowry, supple after years of practice. Some of the other strange obsessions and expertise have included globe making, bicycle wheel building, hula hooping and anatomical waxwork. There are plenty of other skills on show here over the weekend. The final one at 7 o'clock on Sunday. So if you want to see a mole with giant hands being stuffed by a taxidermist, the Arch Gallery on Cambridge Heath Road is the place to be. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News, Bethnal Green.